Connor Hellebuck, no! Winnipeg Jets, no! Come on, guys! You're supposed to be better than this! I'm going to go out there and give a big call to my buddy Peg City Hockey. He's a YouTuber who covers the Winnipeg Jets. He lives just a few towns over, and we did go to high school together. We had some classes. We were good buds. Now we're both here on the YouTube scene doing our thing. But I'm going to give him an angry call and be like, wait a minute, what's going on with your team? Y'all were supposed to be better than this. And the reason I'm saying that is because, as O. Nyquist so eloquently pointed out on Twitter, the Winnipeg Jets really sold the Red Wings' playoff chances these last 48 hours. What are we talking about? Here's what we're talking about. Yesterday, the Winnipeg Jets played off against the New York Islanders and they lost 6-3. to Oi, oi, that is an ugly loss. And if you go over to the game and you take a look at what happened, the Jets let Cal Clutterbuck score! Two goals in the span of three minutes. Those are his sixth and seventh goals on the year. How do you let Cal Clutterbuck score? Nemestikov responded, made the two to one, and then Palmieri scored, and then Hudson Fashing scored. What in the world? When did he make an impact? Barzal, Anders Lee, and then at this point it was 6-1 New York. Connor Hellebuck leaves the game. You have Laurent Boussois who enters the game and... What? 6-3 is the final score here for what is supposed to be one of the best teams in Canada? Winnipeg going out there absolutely blowing a game against the Islanders who are fighting for their playoff lives? Shout out to Cole Perfetti. Shout out to Mason Appleton. But man, the Winnipeg Jets cannot get by the Islanders. But it's okay, because if the Jets come back to form the next day, they have themselves yet another game against an Eastern Conference Metro team, and if they're able to get back and just do things properly, then they may get some good results. It's a back-to-back -back situation, I get it, it might not be the most ideal, but the Winnipeg Jets against the Washington Capitals... I mean, look, they had the puck line, they had the money line, they had the higher odds to win! Play Now Sports goes out there and says that Winnipeg had themselves the more likelihood opportunity of taking the dub against Washington in an 11.30 a.m. Central Time game. But Winnipeg ends up losing again. 3-0 this time. Two straight losses in Metro Division matchups, and this is pretty bad for the Detroit Red Wings. Now, I'm going to go out there and say, when it comes to this Caps and Jets game, very, very nice to see Alex Ovechkin go out there and get more goals. He had two, one from Connor McMichael and one from Stroman Oshie. He is now four goals away from 30, with how many games left do the Capitals have, like 11? There's a very realistic chance that Ovechkin hits 30 goals this year, and the majority of that production is going to come in the past, like, three weeks or so. He's been so good as of late. It's almost like he woke up and he's like, oh yeah, we're in the middle of a season. Like, I need to start scoring goals if I want to catch Gretzky. The unfortunate part about it is, as we've talked about, the Caps fans, they don't really care about the playoffs. They care about Ovi getting all these goals. It just so happens that with Ovechkin scoring more, the Caps end up winning more. So, there you go. Double whammy, right? Even if the Caps do find themselves in the postseason, I honestly don't even think that Ovechkin would really want to do that, mostly because, like, the guy takes so many breaks every All-Star period anyway that extra time to rest up and a longer offseason might actually be more beneficial for him in his conquest to tackle Gretzky. But either way, that's besides the point. Washington won 3-0. The Winnipeg Jets not only lost a game 6-3 yesterday against the Isles, but they lost 3-0 today against Washington, and with that... You have yourselves the updated wild card standings. And for the Detroit Red Wings, my third favorite team, they are now down there in the third place wild card position. The Caps have 79 points in 70 games played. They are 7 3 0 in their last 10. And that happens to be a result of Alex Ovechkin going out there and scoring a lot more goals. The Islanders are a little bit behind, so even though the Jets lost to New York yesterday, the Isles still have a lot of ground to make up if they want to catch up to Detroit. This is really where you start to see the importance of a lot of these games, because the Red Wings won nothing loss against Nashville yesterday. Hey, it was a really hard-fought game. It was a really good game, but the Predators have been on the up and up. They're 8-0-2 in their last 10. They've gotten points in 17 straight games, so... 
Nashville, they're in their own playoff hunt. It just so happens that that playoff hunt saw the Detroit Red Wings as one of the obstacles on the road. So, hey, they ended up beating Detroit, one nothing game, very tight game, very close game. Jeff Petrie made a mistake game, but the Wings are still hanging in there just by a thread. They have one more game played than Washington and one fewer point. So if you go over to the Money Puck standings, Let's take a look at this here. The NHL playoff odds in 2023-2024, updated as of March 24th, 3 a.m. Eastern. So about, uh, let's say, midnight earlier today. The Detroit Red Wings are now at a 40.9%. Now, I get it. I think the last time we had looked at this, the number was a bit lower, I think. Either way, 40.9% out of 100 is not the worst thing in the world. It's a tad lower than the Washington Capitals at 43.9. The Islanders are only at 13.1, so their odds are pretty diminished at this point. But because the Wings have been playing a lot better as of late, this number actually isn't that bad in comparison to what it could have been had the Wings kept on losing and letting their own playoff odds slip away from their grasp with that seven-game losing streak. They were pretty comfortable in that playoff spot, but now, I mean, it's a battle between these three teams pretty much. Meanwhile, if you go over to the Tampa Bay Lightning, that first wild card, they've got 83 points in 70 games played. Their playoff odds are at 99.7%. Because with the way Nikita Kucherov's going out there with 15 points in four games or whatever it is, this team is probably going to find themselves a way to make it. As long as Nikita Kucherov keeps getting a goal or an assist on every single freaking Tampa Bay Lightning goal. But aside from that, I mean, the playoff picture looks pretty solidified. You've got a lot of teams at 100, a lot of teams above 85, a lot of teams in the 90s. It's just these two that are holding everything up. It's that final wildcard spot in the East that nobody really wants. Seemingly, I mean, the Wings are 3-7-0 in their last 10. They recently got better ever since Dylan Larkin came back. But if you think about it, I mean... The Red Wings ultimately were praying for the Winnipeg Jets to do well in these past two games. The Jets, by the way, they're now down there at 93 points in 71 games. And I say down there, but it's down there because they were the top team in the league just a few weeks ago. Now they're down here at eighth. This team ended up losing a bunch, and especially to Metro teams, it really screws over the Detroit Red Wings. Let's take a look at what would have happened if Washington and the Islanders both just lost these games. I mean, the Islanders would be at 73 points, so even further away, I have no doubt that that number would be a lot lower had the Islanders lost yesterday. And then, of course, the Washington Capitals would be at 77 points, one behind Detroit and not in the wild card. They'd still have, I think, the better points percentage and maybe the odds would be a little bit more equal. But for now, this is a very uncomfortable spot for the Detroit Red Wings. And it makes the games that the Wings have all the more important because guess what? They're playing the gosh darn Capitals later this week. I mean, that's the next game. Washington, and then Carolina, and then Florida. Okay, Florida, Carolina, you might not be able to take those guys on too dominantly, but Washington on the 26th. Then if you go over to April, Tampa Bay. Okay, that's going to be a really important game as well. New York, Buffalo, Washington, two Washington games, and then two Montreal games to close out the year. It's going to be a nail-biter to finish off this 2024 wildcard scene. And I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if the Detroit Red Wings have what it takes to get it done. And how do you feel about the Winnipeg Jets, man? Don't think they're off the hook, man. Losing out on Washington and losing out against New York, that is obviously, obviously not ideal. So if you're a fan of the Detroit Red Wings, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about how the Jets ultimately screwed over the Wings this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to Rolls 99. And bye.